Hello and welcome back. Um, right, uh, if you remember last time we dropped off at Lisette Logistics, guys. And we are, well, all but ready to take another job. So, without further ado, let's uh, get the old beastie fired up. Right, we'll have a look in this. In fact, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll come out of here and we'll go to job market and see what we've got in the local area first. So we are in Wexford. Right. Mm, it's looking like we're going back to... Uh, shall we take some bricks to London, Governor? Yeah, what? Well, oh, mind you, that might be a bit heavy for our little baby truck. Um, bu -bu 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 Tell you what, we'll take some salmon fillets instead. Right, so let's go and pick his job up, and away we go. Incidentally, how we're doing for juice? We've got just over half a tank, so at some point we're going to have to put a bit of juice in there. I must remember that I'm driving on the opposite side, well, the right side of the road for us, but the opposite side for my truck. Oh, very kind of you, sir. Thank you very much. In your crane. I think what we need to do as well at some point is do a little sleep, guys, because we are about ready. In fact, I think we'll sleep first and then see what other jobs turn up. That would be a far better idea if I can find a sleepy spot. What we'll do is we'll head down through... Kill two birds with one stone. We'll fill up with diesel. Do a sleep. And we might even have a look at spending some cash and upgrading this truck a little bit. See if we can get a bigger engine or something like that. Makes more sense than uh, just diving straight into a job. So it's going to be a triple stop shop, this one. Right, first things first, let's get some juice in. Jeebish is a first little beast. Right. Right, let's splash some cash. I don't know what we're going to have available to us at the moment. Let's just turn that off. It's just cost us an arm and a leg. Do we need any repairs firstly? 1% uh, on tyre, so we'll repair that. Get that up to date again. Repair keep on top of your truck. And then we'll have a look and see what we've got. Well, we've nothing there. Nothing there. Ooh. <clears throat> it's not really worth it. We've already got a 380 in, so I'm not really bothered about that. Mine's actually splash out on a retard. That's 10,000. Oof. Definitely not got any more interiors. We're going to keep the perfect white at the moment. Mind you, I'm fancying a bit of poached ivory at a later stage, but I don't want to spend four grand on it. Right, let's see. Oh, we've got nothing there. Oh, we've got a light bar we can have. Oh, can we put... Uh, yeah, we'll put a little visor on, I think. Why not? We've got any bull oh, we've got loads of bull bars. Oh, we're spending big money though now. Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I ought to uh, do the gearbox just yet because that's going to cost an arm and a leg. Let's come over with the pretty stuff. Stock V8. Um, oh, I like the chrome front. How much is that going to cost? Seven grand. That's a lot of pennies. You know I'm tempted to go for that because I do like that. Why not? Let's let's splash it out. I'll tell you what, let's put some strobes on there. In case we do any strobe jobs. There we go, what have we got there? Twelve thousand. I suppose that's too bad. What about odds? Have we got any odds available yet? No, not well level six. Mm. This is what you're up against when you start. I'm still going to stick with his placky mirrors. But we can put some lower cards on, I hope. Shall we, shall we, shall we? Yeah, why not? Um... Yeah, I'll put a couple of them on because it'll look nice. Oh, wrong one. That one. And we'll have some more little lights on there, I think. We'll do them as strobes, them outer ones. And then we'll do these ones as little orangey lights. Right. Shall we, shall we, shall we? Let's do it. Let's have a look at our new truck. Oh, very, very special. Put some lights on. Oh, I must say that looks nice and strobes. Yep, liking that. Right, let's go and get a rest. Loving the chrome front. Right, let's get a bit of sleep now, and then we'll get a job sorted. Oh dear. It's dark. Right. I wonder if jobs should have changed around by now, guys. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, let's see what jobs we've got available now. Boom, ba -dum, boom, boom. Uh, Freight market, let's do that one. Wexford to Calais. Or Chelmsford? Chelmsford? I fancy seen a bit of the old Calais, actually. That's two, well, ferry in a tunnel, I believe that'll be. Or are we better off doing Wexford to Fork? Well, the Wexford to well, uh, Wexford to Forkston, I believe. Well, I don't believe. I know that's what we're going to do. Right, we're off. And we're fully, fully rested, so we're good to go. Jobs are good, and Oh, it looks like going back to uh, Lisette Logistics then.
Ooh, nearly. Get you next time. <laughs> hey. Right, we're here to pick a load up. Oh. Oh. I might have a change of heart. I think we ought, we ought to really. Shall we do tra tra tracks instead? Yeah, we'll do tracks for her. We want that one. Yeah, we're going to take that one. Get some tracks on the go, guys. It's nice to have a bit of variety. I think you can get right round here. I'm sure you can. Yeah. Oh, that's a big bugger. Didn't look that big in picture. Oh, we can get to play with strobe lights as well now on this one. Yes, liking it. Hopefully by the time we get off the ferry, it'll be getting daylight enough. And that's us out on the road once more. Don't think it's that far to the ferry from here, guys. No. It's what you call a hop, skip and a fart, I believe. But the job is worth 17,490 euros, so that's a good job. And we have got uh, 810 kilometers to go. Which will take us approximately game time about 12 hours 25. So we're all dieseled up, we're good on that one. I don't know how much ferry's going to cost us, mind, but <clears throat> hey oh, it is what it is. This is the joys of having your own truck. Ooh. And hopefully that we'll get some more XP and we'll build a lot more stuff and buy better gear and play with his truck some more and bigger engine. Ultimately working up to the old 700 horsepower plus. I think it's 750 on this. Here we are, ferry. Well, that were a waste of diesel, Paul, if you're just going right round here. Coming right, right round. Oh no, you're just doing a yule bend. Right, 
see where it's possible to travel to Fishguard. Yeah, we'll take that one then, seeing so. That's the only one there. Oh, it's ten past six now, so it might be daylight. Yes! Don't think we'll have to go through all customs with this. Oh, you're going to have your wits about you getting out of here. and running hopefully to get by all these little mini roundabouts get to a bit of nice open road we'll open her up a bit welcome to fish guard you know running pro mods on uh, ETS 2 makes it from a good game into an excellent game the details so much better, the map so much nicer to look at. And there's so many more places you can visit, it's awesome. And one of the main points as well is it's so much more challenging because you're going down a lot of narrow roads that well, you know, things that the main game doesn't offer you. Separates the men from the boys, it does. This kind of sounds mint. Oh, we've got a nice double roundabout combination coming up here. Slow and steady wins the race every time. Morning, Mr. Policeman. How are you? Hopefully, nice bit of straight road now. And we're off. Gonna wound up a bit now. A rough. See, so didn't know I could speak Welsh. 
probably can't because I've probably completely announced that wrong. Or pronounced that wrong, rather. That were a nice little burst of speed while we had it. Let's go for it again. You know, say I've only got the 380 horsepower engine in me. She doesn't do too bad. She's pretty nifty on her heels. She just feels it a bit when you come to the hills, but apart from that, she's not a bad little unit. Traffic. I knew it was coming right around. It stopped, hadn't it? Yeah, I thought it had. He's a swine. It let's open her up to full pelt 90 kilometers come on baby you can do this beef in the scania Well, that's 70. Come on. Not doing bad because she's got 11 ton of weight on her, so she's not doing too bad at all, really. That's it, we're up there at 90. I love the introduction of the old traffic lights at roundabouts in England. Just like the real thing. Let's get her back up to max again, guys. Wind her up, wind her up. Morning, Mr. Policeman. Nothing to see here.
must remember to keep an eye on the old speed cameras because we have actually got traffic offences on, haven't we? Forgot about that. So let's make sure we adhere to the old speed limits all the time. Quite a pleasant drive this morning. Just put the engine brake on them and uh, she'll automatically slow us down if we start going a bit of a top downhill. Just over 500 kilometres to go. I'm hoping it's not going to be too long, guys, but we can perhaps add to his fleet or upgrade his garage. Right, we need to be in the right hand lane. God, that's, that is a big track. That's a very, very big track. Yep, we're all right for diesel because we did fill before we left. So no need to stop on this run. I believe it's going to send us back into the right hand lane again, yeah. Because we're heading, heading towards Londinium. Take you long to knock these miles down when you start getting onto motorways. It's one thing I do like about this game. It's fun to do back roads, but it's also fun sometimes just to get on the old open highways and just total along game the miles down. Nice view. You know, I'm exactly the same when I'm driving in car, you know, I don't talk much and then I forget, oh, hang on a minute, I'm, I've got to entertain an audience. And we are in England. Straight away, signpost for Birmingham, like we want to go there. All roads in England should lead to Yorkshire. You know, at this point in time, I'm really glad I bought a left-hand drive truck. Since I've spent most of my time on a right-hand drive roads. 
But hey ho, it'll come into its own when we get into Europe, guys. Oh, I don't believe we're turning off here. Gonna No, apparently not. We just need to be in this lane. Alright, oh, that would have been a waste of time. He's had enough to Bournemouth, bless him. Does that to you sometimes, send you into left lane and you think, oh, time to get off and it's not. Have a quick look over the shoulder. Have a not coming down, we're good. Making good time as well, actually. We should actually get there before we require a sleep, I think. 349 kilometres left to do. And we have got... Ooh, about half a bed full. So, yeah, we should be good. As long as we don't hit any major traffic jams or snarl-ups. She never do know, or never know, even. She's definitely pulling Miss Lord well. Oh look, air stacks on a hill, I bet it's here in real life. They'll be down against fence like they are in farm sim. I just get this tendency to look at fields. I think it's all farm sim playing. I do, you know. Get excited when I pass a field with a tractor in it. Especially when I see a stack of air bales like those on the right. Oof. There you go, there's the engine brake just kicked in. It's quite a good little device to have, a, to have enabled that. Especially when you, you, know, you don't have to worry about your speed going over too much. Well, under 300 kilometres now. Oh, that's me just trying to reach for a drink. The old wind farm there on right, look. It's like Roy's guy did to us today. I just suppose that's what you do tend to look at when you're out on road all the time. You get a bit bored of looking at a mirror and a set of clocks. This should uh, actually knock us up quite a big level. Oh, oh, I didn't need that. Back with my loan instalment gone out. £2,888. Oof. 
And you, it's not a bad thing. We borrowed the money, we've got to pay it back. It's knocked us down to 6,000 euros. You know, I often wonder whether I ought to change it from euros to pounds, but then I think, well, most of the jobs we'll be doing will be in Europe anyway, so it's paid in euros. So I think euros is perhaps the best thing to keep the currency in, guys. Oh, struggling up here. Oh, we're going into the green zone of London if we're not careful. Right, we need to sweep left here and I believe we'll be hammering on to M25, I think, it looks. Yeah, it is the M25. We're all good. Oh, take a left and then keep right. It's a shame, you know, M25 is not like this in real life. It's normally its south leading contraflow system. There's always a traffic jam somewhere on the M25, it's a well known fact. Come on, hurry up and get past. I need to be in that lane. Thank you. And again. Yeah, I definitely think this will knock us to level 5, guys. Because we've done a good old run. Should actually knock the old lights off, shouldn't I? Keep his little side lights on. Just makes it a bit easier to see your clocks on the dashboard. Yeah, not be long now. Two hours, two two hours. Well, just over two hours, basically game time, which is not too bad.
Oh, it's a nice run today. I, mean, I'm, I am really enjoying the run today. Not too much traffic about. So, really, really good. Oh, why are you breaking, son? Oh, it might be because I'm drifting. I think I frightened him a little bit. Let's have a look, see if he's all coming out of services. Nah. We need to get over anyway. See, I'm 25 goes Avata there. And we're going this way. Be interesting to see actually how much I've got to. I think I've only paid a couple of payments off my lorry. I'm just going to have a look when we've done this job and see what we've got left to pay. Um, so I don't think I'm going to put any more customizations on until I unlock a bigger engine. And once we've got a bigger engine on the go, then we can. Uh, like I say, she just settled down with this lorry for a while. Perhaps a bigger cab as well. And I'll tell you what, let's just perhaps upgrade everything, shall we? It's part of the fun of the game. No, we don't want the channel tunnel today, peoples. Or, as they call, the locals call it, the tunnel. Still can't get over how much these engines are revving coming past me and I'm like, Jesus, find another gear, man. What's going off here? Apart from me being it wrong lane. Oh. Oh, dear. Looks very nasty. I'm going for it. I'm not going to be slowed down by Jaguar. This now come tear us up on inside in a minute. Oh, motorway's coming to an end in a minute. Oh dear. And here comes Mr. Jaguar. Best let him go past Santa. So if not, I'm going to get cut up in wrong lane, which is not fun when you're in a big lorry or truck. Or rig, whichever one you want to call it. Welcome to Dover. Right, so we've got straight on at the roundabout and then a left. Nice one. That didn't take too long at all, guys, did it, really?
She is a nice looking truck. She will be when we've done putting whistles and bells on her. We have now covered what 2,123 kilometres in this truck. Yes, I thought you were. Oh. I wish they would sort the roundabout rules out on this game. That is the only thing that's very hard on this game is when you get to a roundabout and it's like you never know how the AI traffic's gonna react to you. Sometimes it keeps going, sometimes it gives way to you. And we are here. Not that I'm sure why Wilnet Transport wants a big uh, truck, but apparently they do. So, ours is not the reason why. Right, well, we'll go for the big XP one because we need as much XP as we can get. Oh, we've got a man watching us, look. We've got an audience. Right, let's disconnect. Let's get as jewels and demands and as bonuses and seventeen thousand four hundred and ninety pound, please. Thank you. And uh, let's see if we can clear level five. Yes, we have done it. We're nearly ooh, halfway across to level six. Right, we've got to put another little. Come on, we'll go just in time delivery. We might as well work straight down that row. Right, so we have now got 23, let's have a look now. Bank manager. Oh, we've only paid one payment, I thought we'd done two. <clears throat> That's going to take us a long time. Apparently we can borrow up to 400,000 now, but do we really want to do that? It cost us 5788, so... Mm. No, I think we'll do a few more jobs first, guys. It's so very easy to run before you can walk. Right, so let's find somewhere to stop. I've got my parking brake on, that's a bit silly. Turn me beacons off. There we go. We're about full, so what we'll do is we'll do a resty stop, then we'll pick it up in the next episode and we'll do another run somewhere. Get some more pennies in my old bank. There is actually a rest stop up here, allegedly. Oh, it's a hotel. Let's stop in the hotel. If we can get to it. I'm hoping there's a cutting. Yeah, there is. It's here, look. Oscar Vogel. I feel like I'm taking a bit too much room but we had to trailer on Right, 
Guys, hope you've enjoyed that uh, episode. Um, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, if you want to see more. And I would just say bye-bye for now. Don't forget, I'm still doing the On The Road truck sim as well. I know a lot of you guys are following that and enjoying it. Um, and I'd just like to say thanks for watching today. And bye-bye. Have Stay safe, people, yes, as well. Right, catch you later, guys. Bye-bye for now.